Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's work on the problem 12 in chapter 5. And this one is very, very similar to problem 11 in chapter 5. In this one, you can see it asks you to find a minimum stopping distance. So we can consider it's displacement, right? And if you know the initial velocity is V. So we can see there is a car. Uh, so in this one, we can say first thing we know is the initial velocity V. And the final velocity is zero. We need to find the displacement. And we prove it equal to this one. And then in this one, we can say, if you want to find this displacement, it looks like you must know acceleration. Do you agree? Yeah. And then we look at the acceleration. So we do the force analysis on this car. So first of all, we have gravity, normal force, and friction. There must be friction because they tell you we need to consider the coefficient for static friction between the tires and the road. So in this one, we consider the friction. So we can write Newton's second law in this, in x component and the y component. First, in y component, we have f minus gravity equals zero. In s com um, component, we have a negative. See, the friction equals the mass times acceleration. And then this friction equals the coefficient times the normal force. Therefore, we can get this acceleration just equal to negative mu s g. Do you agree? So after we know the acceleration, we can look at these uh, quantities. We know initial velocity, final velocity. It's easy for us to get the displacement by using this our favorite equation, right? So I pro we proved it. This is s. Sorry, this is s. And the, the next one tell you, uh, we know the quantities for mu s for the initial velo velocity v, and also we know the mass for this car. Can you find the distance ds? Sure, super easy. We just input these quantities, we can get the displacement. The next one asks you, what would it be if the car is on the moon? So if this car is on the moon, that means the g becomes the g divided by 6. Agree? So we just need to change g to g divided by 6. So that is 9.8 divided by 6 for the acceleration on the moon and then we can get it is 330 meters. So you see, this is after we input the quantities, we get the final answers. Thank you.